In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome foam prop dagger and sheath. For this build, I'm using one of my laser cut dagger kits. If you're using one of my patterns from Etsy or from my web store, you can still follow along step by step. The details will just be a little bit different. Let's get started. Trace the pattern pieces to the EVA foam and cut them all out. If you're using a kit, all of these pieces should be included. You should have two blades, two cross guards, two sheaths, a hilt wrap, a little bit of PEX pipe, some EVA foam scraps, a bamboo skewer, and a half round EVA foam dowel of 8mm or 10mm. And a small pommel detail. Next, we're going to assemble the blade. Turn the blades over and create a shallow channel down the center of each blade. Use a wood burning tool, a blade, or a rotary tool to make the channels. Leave one inch at the tip untouched. Next, you're going to put a little bit of hot glue in that channel and place the bamboo skewer in the channel. Be sure not to get any hot glue around the edges or anywhere else. Leave one inch at the tip, that's very important. Next, use the EVA foam scraps to apply super glue to connect the blades together. Start at the tip. Press together. Continue gluing the edges together. Be sure to apply glue to a small area at a time. Work slowly and carefully. Don't worry too much if the edges aren't completely lined up. In the next step, you're going to sand those edges down. In the next step, we're going to create beveled edges. Use a medium grit sanding drum and a rotary tool. On this design, I included a three millimeter sanding guideline around all of the edges. You can customize this angle for your design. Hold the rotary tool at a slight angle to the blade edge. This angle is a little over 45 degrees. Be sure to sand from left to right because that's the direction that the rotary tool is rotating. Use a light pressure and a smooth motion for best results. Continue sanding all four edges of the blade. My hands are getting really covered in dust, so you can wear gloves if you want to stay dust free. Continue sanding until all of the edges are nice and smooth. Sand the tips in this direction with the tip facing you. This gives you the most control with a rotary tool. Smooth the tips a little more around the edges to soften the point. Use your small finger to stabilize the tip as you lightly sand. Next, we're going to polish the blade edges. Remove the sanding drum tip and replace it with a polishing stone. This is also called a grinding stone. Use light strokes around all of the edges. The polishing stone smooths the rough edges. The higher the speed setting on your rotary tool, the better your results are going to be. Gently polish the tip. Good job, looks great. Next, we're gonna sand and polish the cross guard edges. The two halves are going to be glued together. So for now, only bevel one edge at a time. Attach the sanding drum and sand a beveled edge around the cross guard pieces. Use the same techniques that you use for the blades. Polish the edges with a polishing stone. Great job. Next, we're gonna attach the cross guard. Slide the PEX pipe over the blade. 
don't glue it down yet. Next position one of the cross guard pieces on the blade so it sits against the pipe. Use a marker to trace the edge on the blade. Repeat on the other side. Remove the PEX pipe. Trace the cross guard top edge. Attach the cross guard piece as shown with super glue. Next, glue the cross guard to the blade so it lies flush. Repeat for the opposite side. Bend the cross guard edges so they are out of the way. Attach the second cross guard piece. Next, glue the cross guard pieces together at the edges. Press firmly together to minimize any gaps. Great work. All right, next we're going to wrap the hilt. The hilt will look something like this when you're done. Position the EVA foam hilt wrap against the PEX pipe at an angle as shown. Secure in place with a small amount of hot glue. Allow the glue to completely cool before moving to the next step. Add more hot glue to secure the wrap to the PEX pipe. Allow to cool. Begin firmly wrapping the EVA foam around the hilt. You can pull slightly on the EVA foam to make it tight. Wrap slowly and carefully so you don't tear the foam. Overlap the foam about 50%. Add a little glue now and then to secure the wrap in place. About halfway, you'll notice it'll be more comfortable to turn the hilt over. Continue wrapping and gluing. When you're close to the end, secure it with more glue. Add glue around the edge to secure in place. Wrap completely. If you have excess, trim it with a knife or scissors. Use scissors to trim around both ends so the wrap is flush. Use super glue to secure any loose edges. Next, we're going to attach one hilt detail. Use your knife to cut the end of the half round dowel at a slight angle. On the left, you can see that it's straight and on the right, it is slightly angled. Cut the edge. The dowel should look like this. Glue the dowel around the edge of the hilt. Mark the dowel where it overlaps itself. Place the dowel flat on the cutting mat and trim. Trim at a slight angle again. Glue the remaining length to the hilt.
Next, we're going to attach the hilt and blade. Apply hot glue to the inside of the PEX pipe. Slide the hilt over the blade and allow to cool. Next, we're going to attach the second hilt detail. Cut the end of the dowel at an angle as you did for the first detail. Then attach the dowel to the hilt. Hold in place until firmly secured and wrap around the hilt. Mark at the overlap and trim at a slight angle. Wrap around the hilt and glue in place. We're almost done. Next, we're gonna heat seal the EVA foam. Use a heat gun to lightly heat the entire dagger. This improves the surface and prepares the foam for priming and painting. Use high heat and move the heat gun constantly along the surface. If you have scored details like these, they will become more pronounced. Next, we're going to attach the pommel. Use anything for the pommel. I'm using a rose that was made with a thermoplastic. Attach the detail to the end of the hilt to cover the PEX pipe. And your dagger is done. Great work. Next, we're going to assemble the sheath. Draw a glue guideline around three millimeters from the edge of the sheath. You only need to draw on one sheath piece. Apply super glue to the guideline starting at the tip. Position the second piece carefully over the tip and press firmly. Continue gluing the pieces together by adding a small amount of glue at a time. Add an equal length of glue to both sides. Allow the glue to fully set each time. Be careful not to apply too much glue. In the next step, we'll sand the sheath. Sand the edges with the sanding drum attachment. No need to create a beveled edge, just a nice rounded edge is the goal. Go slowly, being careful not to sand too much of the edge away. Next, use the grinding stone to smooth the edges. Almost done. Next, heat seal the sheath. Gently insert the dagger into the sheath opening. It's gonna be a little tight. Apply heat to the sheath with the heat gun. Gently press the sheath to form it to the dagger shape. Gently straighten if needed. All done. Your new dagger can now be primed and painted. You can get this original pattern in my web shop. And if you don't have my book already, I really recommend it. There's lots of tips in there for using EVA foam. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. See you next time.